Hello, this is Jack from tofluency.com and in this English lesson, I'm going to talk about the phrasal verb settle down. So I'm going to show you how I used it, give you further examples, an explanation, and then I'll have a question for you at the end. So here is a video of how I used this phrasal verb. Now, we wanted to settle down in the US. So after a couple of years, we moved here to Asheville, North Carolina. And it was then when I went full time teaching one-to-one -one lessons. In the video, I said, now we wanted to settle down in the US. And what I was talking about was how I was living in Spain. And before that, I went traveling. But after a couple of years of teaching in Spain, my wife and I wanted to settle down in the US. Now, to settle down means to live permanently in one place. So it's to, to move to a place and to stay there. Something that's quite similar, a phrase, is to put down roots, to put down roots. Now, to settle down can also mean to get married and to live a quieter life. And what we did was a combination of the two. We actually were married already, but we moved to the US to live there permanently. And we wanted to settle down, to have a quieter life, to have a house, to have kids, and do all those things you do when you settle down. I'm gonna show you some more examples now. Football managers want their players to settle down and a very famous football manager, Alex Ferguson, he always talked about how he wanted his players to settle down. He wanted his players to have wife, wives and kids, to get a house, because the opposite of that is partying and going out and drinking and doing those things. So he wanted his players to settle down. Do you think he'll ever settle down? So people ask this question about people who like to party a lot. And maybe they're a little bit older, but they're still partying and doing lots of things and they, they don't have a girlfriend or a house. So sometimes people ask this question, do you think he'll ever settle down? Now this next one shows a different way that we can use this phrasal verb. Settle down and tell me what's wrong. What this is trying to say here is calm down. Be calm and tell me what's wrong. So we can also use settle down here when we want someone to calm down. And this is used a lot by parents when they're talking to their kids. When their kids are angry and screaming, you say, settle down and tell me what's wrong. And here's another way to use it too. Let's settle down on the sofa and watch a movie. And this just means to spend some time on the sofa and not move from the sofa and to watch a movie. And this is another way that you can use it. Now, my question for this video is this. Do you think it's important for athletes to settle down in order to reach their full potential? So leave your answers below this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.